Matt's also in the backseat. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Unskilled Mechanic. This morning, we're out here on our first road trip in the wagon. Where are we headed? We are headed to Rhode Island, and we have about 400 miles round trip, so we got a long journey. You think there's any chance it's going to make it? 50-50. Yeah. I, I'm not sure about this one, but it's running really well right now. Well, we had some issues yesterday. Yeah, the starter decided to go poo-poo right before our trip, so swapped a new one in. Now it starts really well, and now we're here at the gas station, where all sea bodies love to be. Let's see how much this thing takes right now. What are we running? 87? That's, that's fantastic. Of it's chilly. It is. Hopefully the rain stops. Probably not. We put some new blades on. They're not the inserts, but wiper blades are wiper blades. Yep. Well, it's all those little things that need to be done for right. sitting, sitting so long, you know? And we're out to take it 400 miles. I mean, that's... I don't know if it's really smart, but... It's okay. We won't think about it. No. All right, so that's the first fill up. We got some mileage to cover right now. Oh, it's also what, five o'clock in the morning? Yeah. All right, let's hit the road. Hey, look who decided to come around. The gas gauge is reading three quarters, but uh, what do we put? We put full tank in uh, it, but you know what, we'll take that. That's a good uh, indicator. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if I trust it, but. No, the dash is starting to work better too. Perfect. It's brighter and uh, everything's working. And we have wipers. All right, let's hit the road for real now. Doing good so far. How many miles do we have down? Probably like 10? Nah, no, probably about uh, 30. 30, 40? So far, pretty good. Gas gauge seems to be working a little bit. It, yeah, it didn't work before. I think we forgot to mention, we don't have an odometer and we don't have a tripodometer, obviously. So none of that works. So we can't <laughs> track our mileage. I mean... But things are starting through. to come back on that weren't before. Right, the light's here. Yep. On the gauge cluster. The dash lights, yeah. Yeah, the, the one section there was completely dead. Yep. If you go back to our first wagon video, I think you can see it. The, that part of the cluster was completely dead. So it's nice to see that. It's coming back to life. It is coming back to life. And, oh, it runs so well. Shifts great. We're just cruising at 55, 60. It's, it's so nice. Yeah. The big uh, block's nice. Big block's really nice. Uh, I mean, this is what it was meant to do. Right. Road trips. Right. I mean, you got to consider the car is, what, 45 years old? That's amazing. Yeah. It's still kicking for now, so we'll let you know if we make it. Uh, we're on track for 
a good arrival time. And uh, yeah, everything's going good so far. Let's keep going. so far. Let's see what we got. Yep. Okay. Alright, we're going. How many gallons? Uh, that can't be right. That can't be right. There we go. Oh, I was going to say. Wow. I, I got real excited right there. Yeah. I'm going to say seven gallons. Alright, let's see. Five gallons, so we were doing about. Oh, that's it. Just doing about uh, 12, 13, maybe. Maybe better. Let's calculate it right now. Because we just put in. Uh, we put in 10 gallons before. Okay. What we got? Bruce. We're going to get you. Uh, yeah, let's get that. That's not bad at all. Oh, no, that's not actually, I figured it'd do a little better. We're cruising at about 55, 60 the whole way. Yeah. So uh, let's keep going. All right, so we just calculated our fuel mileage. It came back as 15.6. That's I, amazing. I just can't believe that. Yeah. And we're only doing 55, 60. The back's loaded down a little bit. We got uh, a couple tires back there. Took some spares off the Newport, just in case, because uh, we're still going on the original tires that were on it. We didn't have time to replace them, so we brought a couple spares. It's It's been going easy so far. Yeah, well, still got a ways to go. Still got a ways to go. Uh, we'll get back to you then, or we'll keep updating you at least. miles again. Let's see what we got. All right, nine gallons. Not bad. working on these things because hey in Niagara Falls hey Roston you could never get these things off when they got a flat tire they were a pain in the butt but they like the streamlined style wheel and it still pretty much goes straight <laughs> these things are just like sailing as I said what's going on oh here we are we made it to our destination, Rhode Island. Should I ask what the seashell thing was about? No, don't okay. ask. I'm, right. I'm sorry about that. 
Um, so we're here, as you probably saw in our prior footage, we met Scotty Kilmer again, this time with the 77 Town & Country Wagon. Now, it was, he loved it. He died, and it was, uh, it was a really nice visit. And appreciated uh, it was great. It was meeting awesome him and stuff. Scotty's a really nice guy, yeah. and we really appreciate that. So we have, as you probably know, a lot more cars to bring him, so we'll be back here again. So uh, let's walk around. And uh, I don't know, update you on our, our status. We yeah, made it. How, how many miles? So one way is about what, 200 miles? 217, 220, 217. yeah. Uh, now you probably heard us before, we said, these are the tires that were on the car. So they're probably around 30 years old. Uh, so 55, 60, they were pretty smooth. They weren't bad. We brought new tires with us just right. in case, but we just didn't have time. But the car had mechanical problems right. prior, so. So we had to work on the car, but uh, when we get home, soon thereafter, we'll have new tires. We'll install them more. But it, it was good. good. It, it drove nice. Right. I, no We're complaints. taking it easy. We're not going crazy. Yeah, yet. yeah. So uh, that was okay on the ride here, because remember, we still got to make it back. We do. We still <laughs> we have do. to make it back. We do. We shouldn't speak too soon. But just to update you, so the tires are okay for now. Mechanically, pop the hood, check the oil maybe. Yeah, let's take a look. See what we got. So what happened? We had to throw a new starter in it? Yeah, the starter, we took it to the wash bay just to clean it up, you know. Uh, we soaked the engine down a little bit. We went to start it, there was a flat spot in the starter. It was going out previously, but it was pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. So we threw a new starter in it. High torque? I think it's high torque. I think, think so, yeah, torque. sounds it. Push it right over. But uh yeah, so that's done now. You guys went through the back brakes, so it's yeah. all uh taken care of. Yeah. So mechanically it's been sound. Yeah, yeah. Uh let's check the oil. Let's give it a quick check for the run home, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Brakes see. seem good. Starter came out really well. How are we doing with oil? Change the oil. Perfect. And it's clean. Yeah. Very clean. Oh valve cover gaskets, had uh, those were changed too. Yes, valve cover gaskets. We used the uh, nicer Felpros. I don't remember the number on what, those. What was the situation with that? They just leaked really bad. They leaked really bad. You probably remember from prior videos. They just billowed smoke out the valve covers, especially the passenger side here. The back bolts here. Yeah. They were soaked in oil, so it was burning right off on the manifold. This is obnoxious. But it's it's pretty cool. I mean, considering the car, and we said this, you know, a couple of videos back, it was in a garage, and now about right. a month ago. I and here we are in Rhode Island next to the ocean, and it's, uh, you know, gives you an idea what a wagon used to look like back right. in the yeah. day. Yeah. It's a family road trip. That's right. And we were just talking, just like you were saying, on the way up. I, I'm just amazed. We pulled it out of that, that garage. Uh, it's been sitting there for years, and here we are. Yeah. It just yeah. shows you it's, it's amazing. Anything's possible. That's true. Driving with the window down, it's really nice. It is. Very, very comfortable. And it was raining in the morning, so it was a really crappy morning. Yes. Yeah kind of a gloomy day but now I mean we got a gorgeous day we got to meet Scotty Kilmer again it's all been pretty fantastic all right so, so uh, what do you think your chances of making it back oh I don't know the, the ride up was good how how did we do on gas we got like probably 15 miles yeah which isn't bad considering the size of the car I, you know your foot's not really on the gas we were kind of coasting because no. my wallet is hurting that's right <laughs> but um that's fine We'll get back. It's still gonna hurt, but uh, we'll try to get that 15 miles to the gallon, and we're gonna have to catch you on the way. We'll shoot some footage on the way up, and then um, see if we make it home. Stay tuned.
Ah uh, yes, one of our many trips to the gas station. Well, we got another 80 miles or so till we're back home. Uh, so far, so good. Tires are good, oil's full, and uh, lots of fill-ups. We've got about 15 miles to the gallon so far. About the whole trip, so it's, it's doing really well. For 440, 5,000 plus pounds, uh, we're pretty impressed. See if we can make it home. I agree, it ran really well. Over 400 miles, what are we thinking, 450? Yeah, about. 450 miles, it's been sitting for over a decade. The, the old tires, you know, it all just comes together, we made it. And it, it drove rear, and the engine didn't miss a beat. No, it didn't, Trans yeah, it's so you know, good. I mean, with the gauges are starting to come, things are starting to come back that weren't working before. Right. But uh, overall, it's just, a, it's a great running car. I mean. What a what a uh, what a pleasure to drive it actually. It really was. Um, if you want to see more of this stuff, these road trips, parts hauls, who knows? Let us know in the comments. We'd uh, really appreciate your feedback. Uh, if you want to see us drive the Fury on a road trip, the Charger, whatever, let us know. More projects coming in the future, of course. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.